So much evil is being exposed for all to see. The question is who is seeing it? Let's talk about this evil on display front and center at the recent Oscars award ceremony. This pin is uh, for artists for ceasefire. We have so many artists here tonight wearing it. Uh, we're all calling for an immediate and permanent ceasefire. In Tons of celebrities wore this red pin at the Oscars, supposedly to symbolize their support for a ceasefire in the Gaza war. Let's break this down. Number one, this call for a ceasefire now is not calling for Hamas to release our Jewish captives that they are torturing and sexually abusing in Gaza for over 150 days. It's not even calling upon Iran or Qatar, the financial sponsors of Hamas, to surrender and end this war. No, 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 no. The ceasefire now slogan is about stopping Israel from doing what we have to do to end the evil Arab Muslim terror entity in Gaza from ever being able to massacre us again and to stop us from freeing our captives in Gaza. Number two. Now let's talk about this red pin. You see the design of a red hand? It was designed originally to celebrate the brutal lynching of two Israelis back in the year 2000 in Ramallah. That hand on the pin in red is this guy's hand covered in red blood after he was involved in brutally murdering those two Israelis and dumping their bodies out of that Palestinian Authority police station window. Yup, the Palestinian Authority police allowed that brutal lynching to happen in their police station. Some of those police officers probably took part in it. The mobs destroyed the bodies, ripping out the organs in those bodies, and their hands were full of blood. They literally pulled the organs out of those bodies and paraded them on the streets with a celebratory mob. That's in Ramallah, not Gaza. That is what that red pin design represents. By wearing it, they are literally supporting the brutal murder of Jews out in the open for all to see. Yet they think they are so high and moral by calling for the world to stop Israel from protecting Israeli citizens via ceasefire now. And on top of all that, an Oscar winner, Jonathan Glazer, the director of a Holocaust film, outed himself as a self-hating Jew, throwing the Jewish people and the Jewish state of Israel under the bus. Right now we stand here as men who refute their Jewishness and the Holocaust being hijacked by an occupation which has led to conflict for so many innocent people. Glazer took advantage of his Oscar acceptance speech to literally refute his Jewishness and blame Israel basically for all the death and violence. No voice for our captives, no voice against the horrific massacre of over 1,200 innocent Jews on October 7th, nope. He just refutes his Jewishness and blames Israel for everything. That's what we call a self-hating Jew. My message to Mr. Glazer is simple. The Jewish people have always had self-hating Jews. Those who helped the Nazis, like George Soros. Those who converted to Christianity during the Middle Ages and then tried to destroy the Jews, like Dominican friar Pablo Cristiani. And those during Roman times and during Greek times all who sided with our enemies to destroy the Jewish people. Guess what? We the Jewish people are still around, while they are all footnotes in the history books. They chose the wrong side, as you have done today at the Oscars. You choose to go against the Jewish people, you're choosing to go up against God. Don't go up against God. We are the eternal Jewish people who have overcome over 2,000 years of exile and persecution. We have so much to be proud of, especially having overcome those 2,000 years of exile and persecution to return to be sovereign in our ancestral homeland once again. The only indigenous population in the whole world to be sovereign once again in our ancestral homeland. Too bad that you, Mr. Glazer, have chosen to side with the lies and genocide of our enemies instead of standing with your own people that you supposedly care about because you made a film about the Holocaust, but no, you threw it all away. The sickest thing about this, if Jonathan Glazer or his family had been in one of the Gaza communities attacked on October 7th, they would have been massacred or kidnapped as well. Because our enemies do not differentiate between Jews. They kill us all even the self-hating ones who refute their Jewishness. 
So my message to my fellow Jews all over the world, don't be afraid, don't be scared of this growing Jew-hating anti-Semitism and voices of self-hating Jews like Jonathan Glazer. Be proud and stand with the Jewish state of Israel. You are on the right side of history, as we are on the right side of history. Am Israel Chai. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.